Hello unlimited friends. Day 11, our affirmation is life is meant to feel good. And if it doesn't, what should you do? That is the question. That's why we gravitate towards law of attraction because we see it as a solution and it is a solution. Life is meant to feel good and if it doesn't, we need to change something. What do we need to change? Do we need to change the things we do? Yes, absolutely. But before we change what we do, we have to change what we think because thoughts are what become actions. First you think it, then you do it. You don't just go and do things just out of the blue, right? So if you're going to change your action, you've got to change your thought first. When you change your thought, your emotion changes. When your emotion changes, your action changes. That's important information. I know from my own experience, and I've said this to you before, a lot of us simply lose connection with our guidance system. We don't know how to tell what is feeling good and what is feeling bad for ourselves because it's different for, for each one of us. The way you feel good is not the way I feel good. And I can't explain to you what it feels like to feel good. You have to have your own barometer and I have to have mine. So I teach benchmarking your emotions. You've got to know what feeling good feels like. You've got to know what is satisfaction for you. I know for me, feeling uh, joyful right at the top of the emotional scale, that is the feeling of when I was younger and I used to have pillow fights with my brother and play with balloons and blow bubbles. And then I did the same thing with my children. I had pillow fights with them. We played with balloons. We blowed bubbles. Those are my happiest memories. Carefree, joyful, full of action, full of energy. To me, that is joy. To me, satisfaction is looking at my daughter or my son when they're sleeping and looking at the peaceful, 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 look on their faces as they sleep and dream. And I have other things, like I have other pictures of my family members and my friends that I know fit in on the emotional scale in those places of joy. And I also know what depression feels like because I've been there. When I came out of an abusive relationship, that's where I was. Six months, I did not stop crying. I was in depression. I know what it feels like. And I know when I'm lying to myself, just saying, oh, that I'm depressed. No, you're not. You haven't been crying for six months in a row. Get over it. You're not depressed. Right? Change your perspective. Stop using the label, first of all. When you tell yourself, no, that's not what depression looks like. And you know what? If it is depression, if you really are in depression, what is it that you need to do? You need to stop thinking those thoughts that took you there and are keeping you there. It's like the motion of a wheel. Unless you put a spoke in it and stop that motion, that wheel is going to keep turning. Because it's got momentum. If a snowball goes down the mountain, it has momentum. If you don't stop it, it's going to crush everything on its way. That's what we call the snowball effect, right? You know what I mean. We have to do something to break the momentum and we do it for our children all the time. When a child falls and gets hurt, what do we do? We don't look at the bruised knee and say, oh no, that's going to hurt for the next 10 days. How are you going to walk? Oh, my poor baby, I feel so sorry for you. No, what do you do? You say, it's going to be better soon. Come, let's play. Would you like a candy? Come on, let's go get a new toy. And when you get the new toy, when you change the perspective, you start looking at something different, the child feels better. 
And when the child feels better, that's when healing can take place. And I know, and you know, and we've had those friends at school who didn't behave that way, who used to look at a bruised knee and say, that's the end of the world. I can't do anything now. What, we, what did we used to call them? Crybabies. Yeah? Are you a crybaby? If you are, it's okay. It's okay that you learn to be that way, but do something about it now because you're not the four-year-old anymore. You know better. You've learned all of this law of attraction stuff and using it means self-discipline, self-awareness, awareness that when I don't feel good, I'm not just going to sit there and take it. I'm going to do something about it. I know what I need to do. I need to change my perspective. That's what the fire drill process is all about. I have those moments in my life bookmarked in my mind. And I can go to them like that. And I know you can too. That's what I call a thought anchor. You've got to have thought anchors that anchor you in a good feeling place that you can go back to, that when you float away on the waves of negative thought, the anchor does not let you go too far. And then you've got to do the work to go back to the anchor from wherever you are, from wherever you floated, come back to the anchor. And I promise you, if you do that, everything in your life will improve. All right. That's all I got for you today. Have a super fantastic day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.